Welcome back, Fragrance Family. It's been a long while. And as usual, as you've seen from my last Mancera video, the part two of the Mancera video, we're back again with the clubbing guy. Yes, the clubbing guy. Mr. Sure Armin, please do check out his channel, Amoy Piranian. Yes. It does really nice reviews. By the way, the part one of this zoologist first impressions is going to be on his channel yeah so please check my channel in my part one so this is the part two of the video for right. our first impressions in zoologist house right so without further ado let's go with macaque let's go yeah, the, the, the green apple is very prominent with this so it makes up for a very refreshing summer scent is it it gives a juicy juiciness effect from the green apple no the macaque the macaque <laughs> the green apple note it is indeed juicy yeah but with the addition of the cedar wood it gives a contrast oh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that was quite a reaction what Victor Wong would be surprised. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Frag Fam. I don't like this scent. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not your cup of tea. It's not your cup of tea. But not for for cup me, of tea. I find it very pleasant. It's no. very green. Mm. It's a no for me. It's a very woody. It's like you could imagine this monkey swaying by the branches, and you can it's feel like, these branches yeah, um, yeah. represented by the cedar wood. Along with the apples that they're munching on, it is a good scent for me. For and me, it's it a is no. A like, yeah. For him, for me, it's it's a no. It's a no. All right. I'm so sorry, Frank. That's all right. We got our different tastes. <laughs> yes, right? yes. Now we're going on to the, our next scent, which is moth. Moth. Oh. How is it? Wow. Oh. <laughs> wow. Mm. Moth is something different. It has this powdery, dusty uh, vibe about it. I see. It's like the moth as it flies. It is leaving trails yeah. of its dust from its wings. Yeah. I see. The black pepper is it is somehow giving it a little bit of spiciness along with the powdery note. So it's it's a spicy type of a scent. At the initial stage, it is spicy. Oh. No, 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 no. What reaction, man? Why is the reaction? I don't like this even. <laughs> well, no, it's a no for me, guys. It's a no for you. <laughs> no, it's a hell no for me. Hell no for you. Yeah. It is a strong like for me. So, yeah, we're just being honest here. He got his own taste, yeah, I have my own yeah. taste. If you're someone who is like the silent type, yeah. someone who listens yeah. more than he talks, yes. this one is a perfect scent for you. Oh. It is mysterious, it is enigmatic. Yes. It is cold. Yeah. He's like a type of a type of a person which is uh, just traveling around. Oh, as I've seen yeah. the notes here, yeah. the powderiness of this comes from the iris note. Oh. This is a very well executed iris note. For iris lovers out there, this is something that you must try. Okay. Bieber! No, just kidding, guys. <laughs> Bieber! This is so alive. So alive. Bieber. Is there a water note? There is a water. I can imagine. Oh my god. Because the beaver yeah. beaver resides near swamps, I think. Oh. Near the rivers, you know. It's so alive. It's like the beaver is just near the river. Beaver near the river. Wow. Beaver by the river. Beaver by the river. <laughs> okay. So it's like he is just like a very let's just say like mysterious. Just like just just like this, guys. Oh, looking around. It's just like the beaver peeking yeah. around. Imagine this is the river and I'm the beaver. Just <laughs> looking around. That kind of uh, imagination that I can see from right. this scent. Very artistic. I can smell woods here. Yeah. This one reminds me of a billiard hall that I was once uh, playing yeah. when I was in college. Wow. This gives a very uh, accurate depiction 
yeah. of their habitat. Oh. There's watery notes, there's woody notes. Yeah. Completely unisex. The airy notes, yeah. it, it gives translucency. Men and women could wear yes. in the summer. Yes. Um, and high heat. Yes, please. We'll be going on to the next one, yes, which please. is Camellia. Oh, Camellia. And as you can see from, from this, it has this um, prism-like effect. Very apt for its packaging that changes its colors yeah. as well. The fruits waxes and wanes yeah. as it is evolving. Very much like a chameleon that adapts to its surroundings. It changes. It just keeps changing. Because, yes. to be honest, there was another time that I have uh, sprayed chameleon on my skin oh. on a different uh, weather temperature. It was a warmer weather when I sprayed it. Okay. And it is far from this. So right now, because we're we're in a controlled air-conditioned environment, yes, it smells different. It's just a wild mix of yeah. fruits. Yeah. It's a wild mix of yeah. florals. Too much fruits going on here. This is something mysterious due to the abundance of its notes. Yeah. That to the point that there is no single note that you can pinpoint with this one. It's hard to detect. It is very well blended. Yeah. This would be suitable for the uh, hot and humid weather conditions for yes. the summertime. Definitely. Yes. I think that's the best time to use a um, chameleon. Yeah. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Very badass with a very sexy hat. It's like, let's say, like 70s gangster. Now, while he is smelling this one, let me, uh, oh, 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 based from his oh, oh, oh. reaction, let me try to picture this out for you. Yeah. Jurassic period. Yeah. Lava flowing, volcanoes oh erupting. God. Yeah. Smell of soil. Yeah. You could feel the blood. You could smell the blood. Hell it's yes. iron. Hell yes. You could feel the smoke from these volcanoes of the lava. It's a very warm, rich, resinous, incensey scent. Yeah. The scent itself, it's very challenging. Super challenging. It is I, I can imagine the magma effect here. The stones, yeah. the oh my the god, molten stones, the molten stones, the smoke Ooh. emitting from the molten wow. stones. Super, super manly. Yeah. The blood notes. It is very the unique. Smoke, super unique. The resins give life to yeah. this magma uh, yes. lava effect. Yeah. This is very leathery as well. Yeah, very super manly. It's a very formal yeah. demands attention. Yeah. This is a strictly formal scent. Yeah, it's like he opens the door. Mm. It's me, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yes. Oh wait, he doesn't open the door. Oh, so what does he do? He just walks in and his bodyguards open the door. Wow, yes! <laughs> That's how T Rex grows. Yes, 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 yes. So, yeah, uh, warm, smoky, incense y, leathery. You can feel the leather on the skin of T Rex here. Good for fall and winter, right? Good for fall and winter, colder temperatures. Yeah. All right, formal. Let's, let's go for the next scent. Next one would be Camel, and this yes. one would be an extra de parfum as well. Yeah. Wow. This is very resinous. It's like very, very resinous. Very resinous. Wow. Super resinous. There's something sweet going on. Like imagine, I don't know if you guys have tried like what, like uh, sitting on a camel and just traveling in a very hot freaking desert. He's an Iranian, so yeah. <laughs> no, I, I never ride a camel, but oh, yeah. I can imagine you're riding a camel in a very hot. Human desert. Mm, we and then the camel is <laughs> carrying this carrying resin. resin. Yeah, yeah, you can smell a lot of things like this, just like side by side, right and left. You're just enjoying your travel. I like it. It's like it gives a very sweet, ambery type of a scent. Oh, yeah. Right? Amber here and the resins, um, they somehow create this um, sour note. Yeah. It, it turns mildly sour. Yes. Very apt with the name camel. Yeah. This one is very Middle Eastern and very nice scent. It's I resinous, really nice. it is yeah. balsamic. Yeah. It is very warm. It's super warm. It, and yeah. in contrast, this would suit the colder weather. Yes. This is something that um, 
yeah. what I could recommend, yeah. semi-formal, yeah, smart, yeah. smart uh, casual, yeah, yeah, yeah. or uh, the business, uh, exactly. business casual. Yeah, business casual can could be where, yeah. So yeah, semi-formal to formal, this will put it. Yes, this would, this would give you a very good impression of a, of a man who is uh, in control, very well organized. Yeah, I think it could be also good for dates. Mm. Dates and it's yeah. a sexy ass. Nightingale. Nightingale. There wow. is a lot going on with this one. I think this is a. It's a female. It's a. Fe, I think it will be a feminine scent. Look at that sexy nightingale. Nightingale. Yeah. The lemon, I could get it. The yeah. bergamot, yes, I could get it. The red rose is present as well as the violet. The plum, yes. The oud, it's just in the background. It's not oud dominant. So yes. Don't fear that this one is gonna be an oud dominant fragrance. No. White musk, yes. Yes. The creamy dry sandal wood. Yes. It is there for women as well. For casual, up to formal use. Yeah. If I were to describe this um, by color, I think this would be a light pink scent. Yeah. Um, like the perfumes in the designer category these days. Um, yeah. Ultra floral, ultra gourmand. Yeah. yeah. This one is something different. This one has dry florals. This one has dry woods. Yeah. Just enough plum and fruits. Yeah. To give it a little bit of sweetness. Okay. But not overtly juicy. I see. So I see a really a pretty accomplished woman wearing this. Kind of a quiet woman who knows her own thing does her own thing by her own means this is a very a party girl oh she looks like a party girl wow what yeah. a contrast man hot party girl hot party girl <laughs> she wears a lot of pink she likes pink the clubbing guy yeah she likes she likes pink colors like pink bag oh. i can see the pinkiness oh, on this wow. set the pink the color pink it's very sexy holy shit <laughs> what is it oh my man? god it's hyrax hyrax it is an extra de parfum. This is Ira and the program and the program perfumer is Suben Fritz Collet. I hope I'm I'm not butchering your name. I'm not butchering your name. Oh, it's sorry. Me. <laughs> pink pepper, saffron, Turkish rose, cordial, African stone. Um, Hyacinths, Pyrex, and whiskey. Basils are amber, benzoin, musk, patchouli, sandalwood, tonka. Now, basing and. Oh, wow! It's disgusting! Oh my god! Reaction, this is disgusting! Oh my god! Disgusting? I don't like it! Smells like poop. Smells like poop. Let's see if it's yeah. correct. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> god! That is. <laughs> This is something. <laughs> I mean, it is really, it is really different. It's a standout oh my God. from all of these. But I guess my nose isn't mature enough to, yeah. to appreciate this one. It is ultra artistic. Super artistic. It's super like, artistic. Oh my God. I can smell the poop in this. Yeah. The poop of Hyrax. I, I could. Oh. I think it this gives this is a <laughs> scent that gives chills to my spine, man. I think this Hyrax, I can imagine that it oh. is a uh, wow. He is a badass guy, very disgusting personality, I guess. It's just my opinion, Frank Fam. It, it is that kind of a kind of a characteristic gives you like a. It's like very challenging person. It's like wow. He didn't took shower, I guess. I don't know what the heck did he do. It's like it's like getting between your butt cracks oh after God. physical exercise. <laughs> it's just our honest opinion, Fred. Right? Oh, wax from the love. Wax from they the love. They like it, yeah. Oh yeah, respect them. Um, yeah, we respect you guys. Wax from the love. With their choices, with this, with Hyrax, yeah. um, I do respect. I mean, yeah. My nose isn't that mature enough. Sorry, but uh, you see this as uh, something that's uh, bashing Hyrax, but no, it is what it is for my nose. True. 
it's not a crowd pleaser by any means. Yeah. So this is a scent that you would wear for yourself if you are a fan of Hyrax. So that has been our first impressions of the zoologist line, the whole zoologist line. Yeah. So please do not forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share this to your fragrance friends. Yes. And please do check out his yeah. channel, his yeah. YouTube channel, Point It On It. Yes. It's gonna be linked somewhere here, somewhere here. Yes. Before we end this video, we're gonna be having one last fragrance yeah. to the set. <laughs> one last first impression for the audience. Wow, oh, what's that? Squid. Ooh! We have squid here in our hands. This one. Eight. And squid, the squid. This is just gonna be our first impressions. Our full review of this fragrance would be on another video. Yes. So please, please check that one out. Yeah. Alright. Wow! <coughs> That's so strong! So strong. I like this! Let's see. <laughs> now it has also this aquatic note smoke. But I'm not gonna spoil yeah. the whole Spoilers review alert of squid. Yeah. Give them your okay. little I'll impression. give you just hints. It's like this squid is just hidden in the deep sea, just waiting, waiting for a brain for its Food, yeah. for small fish. It's kind of a that kind of a vibe. It is an aquatic, <laughs> and that's not all. Yeah. It's not just an aquatic. So please watch out for the full review yes, of Squid. We're gonna be collaborating with it as well. Yes. So please hit the like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell as well. Yes. Please. So which one of these have you tried? Which one is the best for you? Right. We'd like to hear your comments. Exactly. These are just our recommendations, recommendations yeah. our opinions, and our suggestions. Yes. And at the end of the day, you do you. This has been your host, Alex and Armin. And Amoy Pranya. Until the next episode, we're out. We're Thank out. Thank you.